The year 1926. I was working the night shift at the BBB when a call came in. Someone got bait and switched with the old two for the price of one routine and left the store with half a one for the price of two. Something had to be done about false and misleading advertising, and that's why the Better Business Bureau was formed. My name, Bob Bowker, BBB Special Investigator. Not very glamorous, but then again, neither is fraud. Before the Better Business Bureau came along, anything went in the Roaring Twenties. Home repairs, scams, insurance, policy churning, phony waits for coal shipments, you name it. At least now, there would be a place for decent folk to go with their beefs. The early Chicago BBB crew flew by the seat of their pants and made up the rules as they went along. Old Flint Grinnell taught me everything I knew, along with the help of Tommy Joyce, who helped bust up a Model T Ford chop shop in Cicero. Helping the average working Joe steer clear of the shysters, cons, and scams that came with the Roaring Twenties. Throughout the odometer tampering decades of the 30s and 40s, then the 50s with faulty hula hoops and knockoff frisbees. The 60s with lava lamps. The 70s with its bad sitcoms and unregulated platform shoes. And the 80s with bad hair salons and corrupt traders. With each decade, the BBB has gotten stronger and more effective at rooting out bad apples with a new focus in consumer preparedness. Today, it's the same scams, but with more sophisticated tools like the internet, a haven for corruption in a scary place called cyberspace. Instead of dark alleys, thieves are just a mouse click away. One wrong turn and you're hijacked to a sham website in Uzbekistan. Another mouse click and your bank account's in the hands of some guy named Igor who's about to clean out your life savings. These Joes will get your password and suck money out of your checking account faster than a Dyson vacuum. Faceless rogues who work from the comfort of a Wi-Fi connection at a Starbucks in Morocco. They'll sell you a TV online, get the cash, and then vanish quicker than a Hollywood rehab stint. That's the brave new world of fraud, but my pals at the Better Business Bureau in Chicago are more than up for the task. Today's bureau is the best trained ever and ahead of the game when it comes to the web. Headed by smiling Steve Burness, who is not camera shy when it comes to shining a light on corruption, he leads the charge against dishonesty, one unethical business at a time. Working to educate and inform consumers through all the new media, empowering them with the ability to make informed choice in the marketplace. Also featured is Eric the Brains Pinto, who can spot a Movado knockoff from a mile away, and our veteran, Tommy Joyce, who doesn't take no guff for any wooden nickels. This consumer protection trio works night and day to protect you, the consumer, and make things right between them and Northern Illinois businessmen. All we ask is that you start with trust. You got a question any time, day or night, go to bbb.org, and we'll steer you right. With real-time scam alerts, a list of accredited business joints, reliability ratings, and the BBB Auto Line. All the tools you'll need to make the best decision on a purchase or service. A new mantra urges consumers to come to us first before they hand over their hard-end dough to a 15-year-old hacker in Hackensack or some guy operating out of a limo. You do that, well, you'll be all right. Well, I gotta go. Word is some guy named Craig has a list and a... A guy named Elliot's name is on it. Have a great evening and see you all soon at the BBB.org.